So I bought this RTX 2080 Super for $100. I scored it on my Facebook marketplace, and if you were to try to buy it today, you'd probably pay around $200, if not more. So you're probably asking yourself, how did you get it so cheap? Does it even work or did you get scammed? Well, I know it works, I at least got it to boot up and all the seller said it needs is some new thermal pads. So it sounds like it's an overheating issue. So let's go ahead and test it out, see how it performs. And based on those results, we'll give it a little TLC. Now for benchmarking this GPU, I'm gonna be using my personal gaming PC right here. It has an i9-14900K and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Now it is a little overkill, but I wanna ensure that RTX 2080 Super will perform at its best. And yes, I will be uninstalling the old graphics card drivers before I test out the 2080 Super. This video is sponsored by Super CDK. If you've built a gaming PC before, you've probably seen that watermark that's telling you to activate Windows. Or if you flip computers for profit, then you need to activate those builds as well. Instead of overpaying for a retail key, visit SuperCDK down below. They have Windows 10 keys for as low as $17 and Windows 11 keys for as low as $22 when you apply the discount code SPLA. Whatever Windows version you end up going with, the discount code will save you at least $5. Once you get the key, activating it is super easy. You just copy and paste it into your window activation settings, click activate, and bam, you got rid of that watermark. Thank you Super CDK, and be sure to check out their links in the description. So I'm gonna test a few games like Apex Legends, maybe a AAA title, and then I'm gonna run a Cinebench GPU stress test and that's where we'll really see if this thing has a temperature problem. All right, I'm in Apex Legends, testing at 1440p, have high texture settings, TSAA is on, and everything else is kind of on low slash like medium. Let's go ahead and see how this little 2080 Super performs. Thought I was gonna choke with my aim. Oh, dead slide, love it. All right, right away, we see the GPU's at 72C. That's honestly really normal for a GPU, so I'm not worried at all. Being utilized about 100%, so that's perfect. Bro, how's he not dead? We're holding a really good average too, around like 200. I haven't even seen the GPU move in temperatures. It's holding steady at 72C. Oh my goodness, what is that aim, bro? There we go. That's how you do it, buddy. Learned how to use your mouse. Alrighty, let's move on to another game. Alrighty, we're in good old GTA 5. These are the settings I'm using. Once again, it's at 1440p. Very high settings, everything is maxed out. And then even then the advanced graphics, everything is toggled on. Let's see what kind of mess we can cause here. Hop in the whip ski. Hit a couple bodies. Oops, sorry. You know, this guy's looking at me weird. Bro's about to get it. Get the hell out the car, homie. Oh! All right, all right, all jokes, all jokes, all jokes. Okay, we're holding like a steady 144 FPS, which is freaking awesome. Uh, GP right now is at 68C. I'm not sure what the guy was saying about just needing thermal pad replacement. We'll have to see in Cinebench how it does. What you want, copper? Good thing they can't use the video games against you in like court and like legal stuff, because every time I come in GTA, I'm always emptying clips. Like, that's all I do. All right, game's running great. GPU's running nice and smooth. Still getting chased by these cops. Before running that Cinebench GPU stress test, I wanna quickly test out Cyberpunk because it is a harder to run game and it should make the GPU run a little hotter if it even has a temperature problem. 71C, all right, seems like it's running, I mean, good. Averaging like 80 FPS on a good AAA title at high settings, that's pretty good. Good job, 2080 Super. I got Cinebench 2024 loaded up right now. Got hardware infra opened. Let's go ahead and start the test. Pop it back. Oh, pop it. Where'd it go? Where'd my hardware info go? All right, the test is running. I just need, oh, there we go, there we go. All right, let's take a look. Okay, it's sitting at 62, 73 on the hotspot. Yeah, I don't know what this guy was saying. 
Am I blind? Am I missing something? It's running great. I'm gonna let it finish this 10 minute loop. Uh, this basically just keeps it at 100% utilization for the full 10 minutes. And I'll come back to you if it blows up or if it's good. Okay, it's been running for about eight minutes. I don't know if you can see it, but it's sitting at 62 C right now. Not sure if my camera's focusing, but that's a really good temperature. Here's just a quick little recap on the rest of the benchmarks we did. I tested Apex Legends 1440p with high slash medium settings. We got an average FPS of 218, with a 1% low of 165. And then in GTA 5, I tested at 1440p with all max settings, and we achieved an average FPS of 142, with a 1% low of 71. And then for harder to run title like Cyberpunk, I ran the in-game benchmark at 1440p with the high settings preset. We got an average FPS of 89, with a 1% low of 72. To be honest, I fully expected that RTX 2080 Super to be a bigger problem than it was. Like I said, the seller said it needed thermal pad replacement. I fully expected to have to completely take apart that graphics card, apply fresh thermal paste and thermal pads, but man, that thing is running like it's brand new. But hey, I'm not gonna complain about the easy win and the really cheap graphics card. For those of you that don't know, I flip computers on this channel and that $100 RTX 2080 Super will make a nice profit. If you don't wanna miss that video when I do end up flipping it, be sure to sub and turn on noties and if you wanna see where I bought that graphic card and actually see proof that I got it for $100, go ahead and click this video here. This is where I bought it, and this is my series where I flip computers for profit.